Hello everyone and welcome to day four of Bonding My Four Rabbits. I'm so glad you are here joining me, engaging with me. Welcome to all of our new fun family members and welcome back to those who have been on this journey with me. So if you have not watched day one through three, I will go ahead and have the link cards above on the screen. And if you have not, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and join the Bun family. So today's video, I am basically doing a cleanup day. I decided to take down the gate and really get down and clean up all their mess because we know rabbits are messy. And I noticed that there isn't a lot of chasing, there isn't a lot of biting, there's absolutely no fighting. Yay for the milestone, no fighting. I started a routine to let them play together at 8.30 every morning and I really think that helped them pretty much know by the time I get up and I'm ready that they will be eating and then they will be playing together or you know trying to work their bond. So. This is one of the different things that I have done since day one to day three. It made that routine. And also, I just want to thank those who are giving tips down in the comments. Um, you are not only helping me, but you're helping other people who are planning to bond their rabbits. So if you have any pro tips or anything you want to share with everybody in this community and this who are who's watching this video who will need help please feel free to make any tips in the comments down below if you have any questions please write those in the comments down below and I and anybody else in our bun family community will be more than happy to help you to the best of our ability since today's video does have cleaning content I went ahead and time lapse the entire video so go ahead and grab a snack and a drink and enjoy this satisfying cleaning video and also watch bunnies run around really fast on your screen.
Okay, so I closed off a little rectangular area in their enclosure so I can clean the rest, but I feel like this was a breakthrough because they, even though basil and mozzarella did scratch at anise a little bit, I felt like they weren't as quote unquote aggressive since they were in this tiny space. Also, I want to thank you for watching this entire video. If you made it this far, comment down below what your pet's name is and what type of pet you have. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on day five. Bye.